I don't know whether it's nostalgia, whether it's something else, but um, it, it, it's, you know, from that period of your life, uh, it's something quite unique and it's great to get involved with. So I, I, I dare say that it, it might be a wee bit similar for you um, making track of music back in, in this current day. Well, I mean, the thing is, we're, we're, we're all getting older um, and, and we're, and everybody that I've spoken to, um, the older they are, the, the quicker they feel they're getting old. You know, time speeds up and speeds up and speeds up. And I think, you know, you get to a certain point, and I think for me, it was probably my, my mid forties. Um, and and, and you, you, you see that there's an end to this, what was a never ending tunnel when you were 20 or 16. Um, and then these, these, these things that you that you got into back back in your teens and whatever, I think then become even more important to you. Um, and part part sort of like the the memories, but, but but just part as well, sort of like if you can spur those memories to come back again, that that's not not a bad thing. And I think I think it's quite nice just to relive this stuff. Um, and I get, I mean, there's there's certain Amiga tracker tunes now which wowed me back back in the day probably for different reasons um, because the beauty of tracker was to be able to download some of these more probably you know tip and mantronics firefox and heat beat and, and whatnot and 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 study how they put their things together and learn from it and obviously we're all stealing everybody's samples as well um, but <laughs> There's some really, really bloody good music there as well, even by today's standards. Um, and okay, it's four channel, it's eight bit, um, but it's got character. Um, and I don't, I don't, I really don't listen to much modern music these days. I must admit, I've got, I'm really excited to to be able to put a new Vangelis CD on my Christmas on my list for Christmas this year, uh, and, and the sound bites sound, sound awesome, but. Um, a, a lot of what um, younger people would class as music, I, I'm, I'm afraid I don't. I don't. Um, and, and some of the stuff on, on, on the Amiga, when you, you've also got to bear in mind the age of people writing it. You know, I mean, you go back to the Commodore 64 days and you, you think about people like Euro and Tell writing all these tunes for um, Cybernoids and, 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 and whatnot. Um, and he was like 15, 16, <gasps> just talent oozing out of every orifice. You know, I never got to that sort of level. Um, but I'm, I'm really appreciative of of the quality and the talent of the stuff that was being done. Um, and it wasn't easy, you know. I mean, you had limitations, and, and that's that's one of the things that I still love about all this stuff is limitations make you work in a different way you know whether it's writing a piece of music on, on, on an Amiga or whether it's it, it's doing audio design for, for a video game with with little memory or, or whatever it, 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 it makes you work in a different way and kind of everything improving all the time ruins that makes things too easy for people um, and then people get lazy and then they, they, they don't get creative because everything's done for them and I, there's, there's a beauty to all of that old stuff in, in, in how it nurtured people to try and get the best out of it, you know?